Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Waller's Wallet and in this video we're going to take a look at Rocket Miles and how they can help you earn a boatload of membership reward points for hotel stays. But first, if you're new to this channel, this channel is all about credit card, credit card rewards, and showing you how you can use your points and miles to travel for less. So that's something that interests you, consider subscribing and turn the bell notification on as well. Also, consider hitting the thumbs up button, it really does help the channel out. Now, if you haven't heard of Rocket Miles, it's an OTA where you can earn miles for paid hotel stays. And the amount of points you're going to earn are going to vary from hotel to hotel. And it doesn't always work out that the most expensive hotels are going to have the best earning rates. And there are plenty of different programs to which you can earn points with. But when I was doing research for a different video, I stumbled across earning membership reward points for paid stays, and this could really come in handy. So I took a look at five different examples comparing Rocket Miles to the American Express Travel Portal. I also added in booking directly with the hotel just to compare the costs. Now the reason I chose comparing Rocket Miles to the American Express Travel Portal is due to the fact that the Platinum Card earns 5 membership reward points per dollar when you book paid hotel stays through the American Express Travel Portal. And because of that, multiple people might book their hotel stays through the American Express Travel Portal for that 5 points per dollar earning. And sure, earning 5 points per dollar sounds great, but what if it wasn't the best option? Now for value purposes, we're going to be valuing membership reward points at 1.5 cents per point. But feel free to use whatever value your heart desires when calculating value here. Now starting off with our first example, staying in Barcelona from March 7th to March 14th at the Hotel Concordia. And when booking through Rocket Miles, you're going to pay a total of $912.17 and earn 14,000 membership reward points, which I would value at $210. And that means you're earning 16 points per dollar on your stay, which is really good. And if you were to book through the American Express portal, it'll cost you just over 972 bucks. And you're going to earn 4,860 membership reward points when you were to book this hotel stay with your platinum card. And those points would be valued right around 73 bucks. And if you were to book directly with the hotel, it would cost you just over 892 dollars. And for some reason, American Express is so much more expensive than the other options. And when you book through Rocket Miles, you're going to pay about $20 more for your stay than if you book directly with the hotel, but you're going to be earning 14,000 membership reward points. And I will gladly pay $20 more for 14,000 points. Because even if you valued points at one cent per point, that's $140. Now taking a look at example number two, staying in Tokyo from June 5th, to June 16th at the Hotel Monterey Ginza. And booking through Rocket Miles is the most expensive option here at $1,644. But you're gonna earn 23,000 membership reward points, which I would value at about 345 bucks. This also breaks down to 14 points per dollar, which again is another great earning rate. And if you were to book through the American Express Travel Portal, it'll cost you 1,580 bucks and you'll earn just about 7,900 membership reward points when you book with your Platinum Card, valued at about 118 bucks. And if you book directly with the hotel here, it costs the least at 1,539 bucks. But even with Rocket Miles being about $105 more than booking directly with the hotel, which I feel is quite a bit, you're gonna be earning 23,000 membership reward points, which more than makes up that difference. And even if you value these points at one cent per point, you'll have earned $230 in rewards. And another way to think of this, 23,000 points is almost enough points to book a multi-city domestic trip using your aeroplane miles. Now taking a look at our third example, staying in Bogota from January 17th to January 25th at the Bogota Marriott. And in this example, it's a little bit quirky and I'll explain why. Because when you book through Rocket Miles, you're going to pay just over $1,444, but you're going to earn 22,000 membership reward points, and this would be valued around $330. And that means you'd earn 15 points per dollar just from Rocket Miles. American Express is only charging $1,160, and you'd earn 1,500 membership reward points for the stay, and those would be valued about $87. Then if you book directly with the hotel, it would cost $1,444, which is the exact same as Rocket Miles and cost way more money than booking with American Express. But while American Express looks to be the best option here, since it's hundreds of dollars less than the other options, I do think they're missing some fees that you do need to pay. 
But if the price is correct with the American Express Travel Portal, then even the extra points you would earn from Rocket Miles, booking with American Express here is going to be the better option for you since it's just so much cheaper. Now taking a look at our fourth example staying in Cape Town from September 4th to September 11th at the Mandela Roads Place Hotel. Now if you were to book through Rocket Miles, it would cost you just under 800 bucks and you would earn 15,000 membership reward points for the stay. And those 15,000 membership reward points would be valued right around 225 bucks and you would be earning a ridiculous 19 points per dollar. And booking with American Express actually has a lower cost per night when compared to Rocket Miles, but the end cost ends up costing you more at just over $806. And you would earn 4,030 points as well, valued right around 61 bucks. And booking directly with the hotel will cost you just a little over $800. And all of these prices are in the same ballpark, but not only is Rocket Miles the lowest cost option, but you're also gonna earn enough points to book a short haul round trip ticket using British Airways Avios to fly on American Airlines. And in our last example, we'll be staying in Auckland from July 4th to July 15th at the Cordis Hotel. Now when using Rocket Miles, it's gonna cost you just under $1,600 for your stay, and you're gonna earn 20,000 membership reward points, which would be valued right around 300 bucks which would be earning 12 points per dollar, which again is another fantastic earning rate. And American Express comes in a little bit cheaper than Rocket Miles at just under 1,595 bucks, and using your Platinum card, you would earn just under 8,000 points, worth around 120 bucks. And if you book directly with the hotel, it would cost you just under $1,590, and this is the cheapest option in terms of cost, but all of these options are all in the same wheelhouse. And in this example, while Rocket Miles is only a few bucks more expensive than the other options, the 20,000 points you'll earn does make the difference here and would make me book through Rocket Miles compared to American Express or booking directly with the hotel. Now after looking at these examples, I played around a little bit more on Rocket Miles and if I put all the examples I looked up, this could easily have been an hour long video. But not all the options were amazing values from Rocket Miles. But even in these examples, Rocket Miles wasn't always the best in terms of price. And in general, there was some slight variance in pricing between these options. And what I really don't like is that the cost per night is all over the place, but the total costs are all in the same ballpark. And I feel this is just a lack of transparency and would cause confusion for people who don't look at these things. But where Rocket Miles shine was the amount of points they offered for hotel bookings and those can really make the difference for people. Because some of the amounts you can earn can be enough for a one-way international flight or even a domestic round trip ticket. And what makes this really interesting to me is the fact that this potentially reduces the value of booking paid hotel stays with your platinum card through the American Express travel portal. So while 5X looks great, Rocket Miles might actually earn more from a point per dollar value and in total points. Plus you could pay with another credit card and earn rewards from that card. And according to Award Wallet's Merchant Lookup tool, Rocket Miles should code is travel. So you'd earn the points from whichever credit card you were to book your hotel stay as well. But without a doubt, if you need to book a paid hotel stay, then I think you should consider Rocket Miles. They have quite a large inventory and you can see that you can earn a ton of points for your stay. But remember, you should always be running the numbers to make sure you're getting the best deal. So tell me, have you thought of using Rocket Miles to book your hotel room? Hey, thanks for tuning in this video. If you want to help support the channel, a simple way would be using links on the website or in the description below. And until next time, safe travels and take care.